Alrighty guys, y'all hear this? This little Chrysler just pulled up beside me. This minivan. So y'all take a listen at this. That is a flywheel. Poor guy. Come on down to Brothers Motors. We can take care of that for him. I can hear it crunching noise while it's sitting down idling. It's, the noise really loud. Now I got a I got a whole video uh, highlighting that noise. In fact, I'm gonna upload. That's that van right there. If I get back to him at a red light, I'm gonna give him my card and tell him to give me a call. I can get that fixed, ladies and gentlemen. I know a flywheel noise when I hear one. So this is a short video, and I'm out of time. But I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna upload a video next showing y'all how to diagnose that flywheel flex plate. It's a flex plate. On automatic transmission. So, I got this car. It's a minivan, uh, about a 2012 model. I want y'all to listen to how this sound when you start it up. Okay, here we go. You might can hear it a little bit. You can really hear it when I put it in the gear. Wow, it gets louder. All right, so I'm gonna go outside and see if you can hear it under the hood, ladies and gentlemen. And you can. Now, the warning I want to give to y'all is that don't get tr tricked and don't get fooled automatically thinking that's um, a rod or any kind of bottom end engine noise. Because there's a lot of moving parts on the bottom of this drivetrain, meaning the engine and the transmission, okay? So never just assume, like I know one shop, uh, they hear noises like this, they will automatically sell the customer an engine. Ladies and gentlemen, the best way to find out, or one of the ways to find out what this noise is, first you gotta get the car in the air. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here, only based off, uh, because of, based off I done done a couple of these, and I've heard this noise before. But I don't want you to just jump into something because I'm saying it. So I'm gonna go over a couple of procedures you can do to check and find out what's causing this noise. But first things first, we gotta get it up in the air, okay? So I'm gonna put the lift under the car and we're gonna let it up. Wow, that's loud. We're gonna let it up in the air. Make sure y'all hear this. I did a video on this earlier, but it was a car. It was a Sebring. And I didn't get to let y'all hear the noise, but on this one, you can hear the noise. All right, without further ado, let's get the car up in the air. So like I say, man, we got the, I got the car up in the air now, the van actually. Uh, here's the telltale uh, inspection cover, so to speak, right here, okay? So it's just four tabs right here. You can remove these tabs, and I can tell from the little rust right here, I can tell already that it's probably, uh, the flywheel probably is coming apart. So let me get this cover removed, and we will take a look at what's going on. So I have the inspection cover removed. Now, like I said before, based on all that rust, there's a big, huge chance that that flywheel's come apart. Now, to get a feel for if you think it's come apart, to get a better feel, you can remove this two of these, two little rubber covers off on here. I have one of them off. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if y'all can see inside of there, I'm gonna take my screwdriver and pry on the flywheel as I like try to turn it. If you hear any clanking, uh, yes, your flywheel has come apart. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah, see that? That flywheel is broken. You can hear it, and based on the rust, that's a sign of the flywheel has come apart. So all the rust from the flywheel is like splattering and spreading all over the bell housing area. That, my friend, is a broken flywheel. Now, you have to be careful just, not so much careful, but you have to be, you have to be, well, I'll use the word careful. You have to be careful when you just going in to replace a flywheel because you have to make sure, I, I heard this from engineers a while back, you have to make sure that the marriage is uh, intact. And when I say marriage, I mean the relationship between the engine block and the flywheel bell housing. So there's two dab pins on each side. So they have to be intact. Everything has to be made it together. That is, will ensure a successful repair because flywheel is not, uh, 
wearable item. It don't wear out, so to speak. So when they break, uh, it could be a, from a number of reasons, but you do your part in verifying that it's nothing, uh, it wasn't caused by mating. Mating meaning the, the transmission married to the engine as it comes together. So do your part in making sure that part is intact. But Because again, the flywheel is not a wearable item. All right, this so is what we're chasing. You hear that? <laughs> Do y'all hear that? Well, I'm gonna show you what it looked like as soon as I drop this trans. All right, let's get this trans out, baby. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys. What do y'all see? Got the trans out. I actually need to take the bolts out, but look. You hear that? Look. <laughs> yes, that is not supposed to do that, guys. All right, now, so let me get these bolts off so we can look even further. I'm gonna show y'all what actually broke. All right, hold tight. Alrighty guys, do y'all see that? Okay, so this is the noise you was hearing on startup. Remember you heard a noise on startup? Look at that. <laughs> it was just literally walking and you hear a noise while it was running. So if you hear that clinking noise when you first started, I know a lot I've seen guys replace the starter for that. It's just a matter of diagnosing it guys. Um, I don't know how to, you can prevent from not letting it happen. Well, I'll tell you one way. You can watch this video and you can see that there may be other things you need to check. Because I'm not going to sit here and lie. When I first ran across this problem, <laughs> it, it got a new starter. Okay, so technically, uh, realistically, I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I made. Because it could damage your image, right? <laughs> yes, these are image-killing mistakes right here, guys. Let me take this all the way off. Look at that. Wow. Yes. And guys, while you're in here, go ahead and inspect this rear main seal. All right. Now, I do have oil leaks, but it's coming from the oil field adapter house. Look at this freaking piece of junk flywheel. Only this was bolted to the torque converter. And I mean the crankshaft. This was bolted to the crankshaft. These was bolted to the torque converter. Here right. she is. All right, no sense wasting time. We might as well get this on. Remember, guys, uh, dial pins, all right? All right, my new flywheel. Throw this piece of junk in the trash. Uh, like I said earlier, guys, don't forget to uh, go ahead. Where's those dial pins? Uh, just so you know what I'm talking about. Here's one. All they are designed to do is to mate the block and the transmission together. Uh, align it so to speak okay now this flywheel as far as getting it on wrong you you will have a sense of feel if it's on wrong i mean it can go on now hole wise it's only going to bolt up one way like you can't get this wrong because this part is idiot proof however this part uh which way it mates can be a little uh technical to some people so but you will get a feel <laughs> But if you got it on wrong, guys, trust me. All right. So uh, let me get to work, guys. I have to put this on, put this train machine back in. I'm going to try to finish this job today. I'm going to go try to upsell this off at the depth of housing. And that's all I have, man. So let me find my boats. I can't. I need both of my hands, fellas. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, let's get to work, man. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Uh, remember, don't forget to watch the early part of the video where I showed the diagnosis. I carded it up front. I will put the link in the description as well. So you see what led me to this, okay? Uh, I don't know what sense knowing this if you don't know what led me to this. These don't just don't, you know, out of the blue. It, it give off an indication that it's broken. It's not bad. You can call it bad, but it's physically broken. How that happened? <sighs> I, we'll talk about that on the next video. For now, I gotta go, guys. That's all I have. Thanks for watching.